finish his business. Talking that bread, let me go on here, make a sentence. When it's time to do work, let me extend the hammer. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Jones in 4K, and I'm bringing you guys another Forza Horizon Drift build and tune video. Then I do still have the remnants of the flu. So if you guys hear me get a little winded or short of my voice and talking, I do apologize. But we have another request built today. We were requested to do the 1969 Dodge Charger, the Daytona version. And the rules were simple. Keep the wing on it and then use the 7.7 .7 V12. So that's what we did. We're going to dive into the build of the car, fall about a tune, and then we're going to take it out to see if we can put up a million points. All right, guys, before we get started, I know you guys see that I got the frames going on on the top right. I don't know what it is, but ever since this update, like my Forza has played like hot garbage. It crashes, the menu so slow. I don't know what it is, but nonetheless, let's dive into the build. So for the motor swap, we have the 7.7 .7 V12. We left the car real wheel drive. You guys see how slow this is? And then we have the twin turbos. I you mean you so slow now. For the clutch, we have a race clutch. We have a race transmission. We have the race drive line. And we also have a race drift diff, sorry. Under platform and handling, we have the race brakes, the drift springs and dampers the front and rear row bars. We have the race roll cage. And we also have the race weight reduction. And the arrow and appearance, we didn't change anything after everything stock. For the tires and rims, we have the drift tire compound. We have a 265 in the front. We have a 315 in the rear. For the rim size, we have 18s in the back, 18s in the front. And then for the rim choice, we have the specialized rim style. Oh, that was cap. We have the multi-piece rim style. And then we have the American Racing VF310s. For the front track width, we have it maxed out. And then for the rear track width, we have it out one. Now for the engine components, we left the stock intake, the stock exhaust. We have the race cams. We have the stock valves and we have the race flywheel. Giving this car 1,117 horsepower 857 foot pounds of torque. The car weighs 31,000, 3,100 pounds with a 51% weight distribution. Like my man, you move so slow guys, I'm sorry. Now for the tune of the car, we have the 29, 18.5 tire pressure. We have a 365 final drive, a 382 first gear, a 240 second, a 168 third, a 133 fourth, a 115 fifth and a 1026. For the alignment, we have negative five degrees camber in the front, no camber in the rear, positive 0 0.2 degrees uh, toe out in the front, negative 0 0.3 degrees toe in in the rear, 5.5 degrees of front caster angle. For the roll bars, we have 25 in the front with 12.5 in the rear. And then for the springs, we have 728.4 in the front with 504 in the rear spring. And then we have the ride height and low as it can go, 7.7 .7 in the front, 7.1 in the rear. For the dampening, the rebound we have it set at 8.6 in the front and 8.3 in the rear. And then for the bump stiffness, we have 6.4 in the front with 6.2 in the rear. For the arrow, we only had a rear arrow. It said 70 and I didn't touch it. Uh, actually, I think it comes 75, maybe. But it's at 70 regardless. For the braking, we have 80% brake balance with 60% brake pressure. 
And then for the differential, we have 88% acceleration with 30% deceleration. That was the build. This is the tune. Now let's take it out to the mountain. All right, guys, we have made it to the top of the mountain. Let's not waste no time and see if we can drop a million points. So that was really actually really really good run we had 1 million 44 thousand and i'm not gonna lie guys this 7.7 .7 v12 is actually really responsive i mean on the top end on the low end mid range i mean it, it feels very very good if you got your gear set really like if you got your gear ratio set like right like you can fly through your gears and drive i mean absolutely drive and this car is very easy to drive because it's long wheelbase so you know it's not as snappy it's real smooth with the transitions sometimes a little slow but the car itself feels feels, feels great and i'm very grateful for the recommendation on the car and the build you guys keep those keep those keep those builds coming man i like to see what you guys think see how the way you guys like to build cars i'll try them all 
but it's going to be it for me guys if you enjoyed the video leave a like comment down below if you have any more suggestions subscribe to the channel as we are growing guys i wouldn't mind hitting 1050 1100 uh, subscribers by the end of the year but i do appreciate you guys man and i'll catch you in the next one